Good day. I want to show you the new GKWare DX simple DXF import export. Okay, now this import and export will work on Cutmaster files as well as any files produced by this export. It's designed specifically for CAD work or uh, for uh, CNC work and uh, therefore we're going to be doing a few various things. So let's start with a simple component. Now we're going to copy the component using the move key. Slide it over, hit the control key and put it down to here. Now we're going to explode it because currently this component as you can see in the outliner is a component as opposed to a uh, group and uh, we want these to be groups. Okay, so let's uh, explode this. Now we can take the top and use it as is and we can either give it some depth by push pulling it down or by just simply adding a little line um, essentially straight down by 20 millimeters and that will give it the thickness that we need. So to start with what we want is we want to have this as a part and, and we don't really need this inside bit for now because each geometry has to be separate. Okay so that being said we can uh, get rid of this and here's your part it's five or five or six hundred millimeters wide 800 high. Okay so that's what we need so we're going to turn around make it a group and turn around and make it a group. Now the reason being is that we need an outside group to export and then all of your geometry no matter what we've got is going to be on the inside okay so it's going to be here here's a machining operation essentially is what I'm talking about so we can copy this edit into this group and uh, paste it and then just remove the outside edges, take this and uh, we, in this case uh, we can push pull it down or okay now this group here we're gonna just hide for now and so you can see the directionality of it is based on the color of the of the uh, of the part. So let's let's uh, turn around and make this into a group, and we can now unhide the the first one, and we can uh, change our components so that when we're editing, we hide the rest of the model. So we, we can turn it down like this, but that's going to always make the outside. So you might want to instead say, okay, this is 19 millimeters straight down. And this one we made, I believe it was 19 millimeters. Not that we made it 20. So that being said, we should probably make this one 20 too, 20 as well. Okay. So now we've got essentially a part that can now be exported into as a DXF. So I'm just going to move it out of the way. So as you can see, the outermost group here uh, just contains groups and or components. Now if you're doing, if your uh, CAM software supports uh, uh, 3D and it supports blocks in block inserts then you can make the internal groups 
components instead of groups. So essentially a, a component turns into a block insert, a group simply separates the uh, geometry from other groups and allows you to assign a layer name to that specific group. For now I won't bother with layer names but that's how it's done. So here we're going to export now and we're going to export this one to a file we're going to call 5. Okay, now we're going to re-import 5 back in and here it is. So this, what this is telling us is directionality. So the outermost is counterclockwise and the innermost is clockwise and they've got the depths already figured out. This is good for uh, CAM software. Thank you for watching. We'll get into more complicated uh, situations here shortly.